Hello ladies and gentlemen, Maelstrom behind the mic for a new replay of Rise of Dreads 1.9 internal. This particular replay has been sent to me by Mizo and it is a 2v2 match. Let's go. Mm. Mm. I don't like this kind of message. Anyway, um... We have uh, Calvin here in pink, teaming up with Frost as Yellow USA versus Xadis as his favorite China in Cyan and Frost uh, and Mizo, sorry, uh, as the orangey ECA. So basically, two veterans of the team versus two newcomers of the team, but pretty good players as well. The clash of generation it shall be. Right, so the map is clashing ground. I don't know if it's the regular Rise of the Reds 1 or the... Um, or the version from Gentles, but yeah, it's it's a pretty odd layout. Everyone in a line like this. Pretty interesting though. Right, so we have collection here. Dub, uh, not double supply. Double supply here, and single supply plus two directs here. Uh, same thing on the other side. It seems that Xadus went straight for the Derricks, starting to produce some tanks. Seems that he noticed the lone Humvee and he chased it away. Celebrus turret being captured by an engineer by Mizo. More capture here on the oil derricks. Calvin beacons the uh, reinforcement pads, probably for his ally to capture. Uh, would it be better for USA to capture it or for ECA? I don't know really. Right, we have quite a bunch of red guards here. Like Sadus. Regrouping. Joined by some soldiers, Mizo offering an outpost for quick repair. Calvin seems to have noticed the um, how do you call it now? Listening outpost and snipes it. Probably noticed it by the fact that he couldn't properly deploy his warhound. Oh no. This is what it does. Hey, I'm a warhound and I'm digging a hole. Diggy diggy hole. Yes, uh, warhounds can now dig fortifications. And just like regular ones, they can be upgraded to a variety of variants. As you can see right now. Reinforced here, reinforced here, and open top here. We have a sentry drone here, more troops being massed. And here we will, yes, uh, as you can see, you can also directly upgrade the open top fortification with the variant you need. So either the heavy gunner, the pioneer, or the grenadier. Mm. 
Right, we have uh, Guardian drones not yet updated, upgraded, sorry. We have a microwave tank, more fortifications. Seems that Calvin is making a full-fledged Maginot line with a lot of reinforced fortification and we see a mole mine layer trying to snipe that at long range. We have a dozer snipe by a MIG. Sadly, the MIG doesn't survive to tell the tale. Calvin seems to be a bit pissed off by this mine layer. And it seems that the Warhound will do the job. Does open top fortification protect from entire garrison? Yes! If you want, they are closer to a pander than an actual garrison. Warhound just repositioned to have a more profitable position here next to the uh, tank bunker vehicle dig out. Yep. And we have a mortar pit and howitzer position. some bombardment with mortar pits and being answered to by a vehicle dig out with a mortar truck. So, so far we know that Miso went for the artillery GP since now he has access to those. But that also means he has access to claymore. So basically four more uh, uh, Howitzer positions. Right, we have some long range snipes here with artillery and tomahawks. I see no particular GP for now for the team above. I see Nighthawks, I see more of those tomahawks didn't get jammed in time by the ECM but got destroyed by the Gatling cannons but the bombardment being continuous who knows how much time it will hold for now it holds well especially since it has chain guns Counter artillery with artillery. And before what? As uh, on zero, before what? 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 It's, I I don't know what the uh, what the question is. Right, so we have more Nighthawks sniping the Sky Shield. Defenses are holding against the missile barrages. Another Hobbitzer position being put by Mizo. Another War Factory coming. Never mind. Okay. As you wish. Uh, Mizo has set up on the side as well, but so far there is no action there. We have a Nighthawk, spoke too soon. Sniping down a Howitzer position.
Uh, we have the mortar pit harassing as well. Uh, the artillery war is real. One tomahawk is sniped and redirecting the fire to the mortar tracks without success. Hit it once but didn't manage to secure the kill. And there is still more tomahawks coming and one of the nighthawks gets sniped by the Wotan. And more howitzer action. Could have sniped the cold fusion reactor though. We have a long range bombardment of mortar tracks on a Gatling cannon. We have a claymore. Gosh darn. See one, two Hobbitsers. The third being constructed. The Claymore is firing. And I think the Tomahawk got sniped. Yes, it was. And another one here. Another one bites the dust. No. Meanwhile, the bombardment continues here on the Gatling cannons. What a uh, guard tower here. Bit of an odd choice, if you ask me. Another Claymore. Mizu definitely is taking advantage in terms <coughs> of <coughs> weapons. Sorry. We have two solar bursts and a particle cannon being prepared. Yeah, he barely escaped with an, um, a pixel of life. Whew. The match is pretty intense. There is no clear winner yet, but it's a battle of long wait, I guess. Mizu is doing everything he can. I think there is, yes, there is the new repair track here. Firing multiple of the Oh, he's firing all four of his claimers at once. To have more chance to secure a kill. Clever. You are using way more ammunition, but at least you're securing kills. And here we have the rapid fire auto cannon inferno. Shooting at the defenses at long range. Also created with black napalm for extra flavor. But it seems that there is still a lot of defense here with the two motor tracks. I hear a twin fang sniping down a B-52. We have two Athens being destroyed, but not before they could snipe their target. Apparently, a bunch of tanks. Here, more mortar tracks by the dust. We have Widowmakers in the sky. Pilot being ejected. I see a Vulcan bomber. The target is was uh, the front line, apparently. 
the attack with the Inferno Cannons resumes. Snipe down here most of the mortars using the airship battle cry but forced to retreat by those crusaders due to their limited close combat abilities. We have a bomblet strike oh. combined with the howitzer it's gonna be pretty deadly we don't make her barely escapes mostly thanks to the fact that it was veteran c2 pretty intense match i have to say one nighthawk out of two got sniped by the twin fangs I absolutely love those new flak effects. It has to be my favorite new effect. Uh, anyway. More mortal track sieging. Retreating the claymores, the solar burst is ready, and here you can see the new effect. Sniping down the two oil derricks. And uh, we have a two javelin teams here, uh, still a large bombardment of large cluster of forgot the name now inferno cannons shooting back we have coronel burton here and slowly but surely is advancing and we have what's that parabomb yes we have a rank 2 parabomb coming Didn't manage to snipe the war factory, but snipe another building here. Seems that the Twin Fang destroyed the Black Hawk. Sniped a Widowmaker. And here is the new Angry Particle Cannon. Sniped one Claymore. Two Claymores, actually. And a war factory. Pretty good shot. So our burst from Calvin coming in 10 seconds. It seems that now Calvin is also using his howitzers to repel the troops. Nice use of the Yak Mammoths. Sniping down everything. Oh, this is a juicy target for uh, super weapons, I would say. Also, less uh, spectacular effects have been updated too, such as the rockets, as you can see. Have a B 52 coming from bombardment. Don't know if it will survive very long. Didn't. Beacon by Calvin. And mortar tracks by Mizo advancing. Xadus it's that rank five. Maybe we will see a sunstorm this time. Some stuff burning here. Still advancing. 
Step by step, we have a Eurofighter. Probably gonna finish this. Oof! That was just. Frost designating a target, but. I don't know what got targeted here. Oh, somewhere, uh, something here. Probably some secondary economy. We have a mechanized battle group here by Mizo. Putting the upper team into difficulty, to be honest. Comanche didn't even reach its maximum elevation and got sniped in the process. We have another bomblet strike that did it. Heavy damage. We have an ECA civil war here. And we have more artillery and stuff coming here in a pincer attack. Nice coordination by both players. We still do not have a sunstorm, I think. And the top team calls the quit. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little replay. I will see you very soon for more content in Rise of the Reds 1.9. Bye!